now time for DigiKey and Adafruit present. This week's INMPI brought to you by DigiKey. Name for it is Remcom. Recom. Actually, yeah, I don't know. I don't know exactly Recom? how to say it. Re Recom? 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 Um, this is a cool, powerful new NPI. Um, I actually saw this on uh, Reddit. I was uh, not necessarily going there for stonks, but uh, they have a nice chip to Reddit, and somebody mentioned uh, this power module. Uh, they're like, hey, check out this new um, product that just came out from Recom that's available on DigiKey, and I was like, this is really cool. Uh, I definitely want to show this on um, INMPI. So this is the uh, Rack. 05, 05SK slash C14. Um, and this is such a cool idea that I kind of was wondering, like, really, are they the only ones who came up with this? It's a DC, AC to DC converter, but it's in a panel mount IEC, like, module format. So how most people do AC to DC conversion, you know, well, I mean, a lot of makers do, at least, or, or hobbyists, is they'll use something like this. It's a wall wart adapter. You plug it into the wall, and it gives you a 2.1 millimeter output, um, DC, and then you have a DC power jack in your product, like, you know, an Arduino, or maybe it has a micro USB or USB-C end, you plug it into your uh, USB input uh, for your Raspberry Pi or whatnot, and um, now you've got power. So um, if you're you know, building a product you would, which has an enclosure, you might use um, an enclosed power supply. You still have to do the wiring um, to connect an IEC jack. Um, but if you need something with about the same wattage as a wall adapter, um, and, but you want the, um, you know, finish and professionalism of having it be a panel mounted internal enclosed power supply, uh, this will do the job. Um, so why not just have a DC jack? Well, um, number one, there's no standard for DC power supplies. I mean, like they tend to be center positive, but not always. I have encountered many in my life that are negative. Um, another thing is you don't necessarily know what the voltage or the current uh, capability of each one is and you know if you have a standard jack like this is a, a you know drawer i have of all these power adapters where do they go to half the time i don't even know but i'm scared to throw them out in case i need them one day um you can get them in five volt three volt nine volt 12 24 uh they come in gigantic bricks and small and, and people can mix and match the wrong one and so um you know having a 2.1 millimeter uh you know 5.5 millimeter dc uh you know panel jack um you know, you have to have a lot of, uh, you know, you have a regulated input, but then you still have to regulate it again because you don't know for sure that what you're going to get is 5 volts or 9 volts. It could be positive or negative. So you have to add extra protection circuitry, um, whereas with this, uh, the RICOM module, you do not. Um, so what's nice is that, you know, it, it's an all-in-one, uh, very durable um, metal case. And like I said, it has an IEC um, connector at the end uh, has very nice little panel mount um, ears with the panel mount holes. Everything is dimensioned nicely. Um, they, there's multiple variations. They all come in the same uh, size. And um, they all use the standard IEC power cable, which you're probably familiar from your computer or maybe you know your oscilloscope or other uh, benchtop supplies. These are standardized. Um, unlike DC jacks, when you get one of these cables, it's always going to give you, you know, mains power. You can get 100 to 240 volts AC at 50 or 60 hertz, which is exactly what this module can take. So it's it's quite convenient. And um, if this cable gets lost or you have to ship your product to another country, unlike the, the wall wart adapters, you don't have to worry about like a universal cable. Um, these cables are available in every country and every hardware store. And they're very inexpensive and you just get the one that matches for um, the country, whether it's Australia or Europe or the UK. And so you don't have to, you know, it's easier to internationalize your product because you don't have to have people like swap out um, or you don't have different wall adapters. You just have a different $1 cable, which is a lot easier. And again, these are completely standardized um, and you don't have to worry about weird polarities or like, you're not gonna get 400 volts out of this or 12 volts. You're only gonna get standard mains. Um, another thing, you know, this is like a, you know, a screenshot, but you can go to the data sheet if you want to see it in detail is they have um, all the, uh, you know, EMC and um, safety and uh, FCC and C and all, all those certifications are all taken care of. Um, so if you're using it in other countries and you're like, oh, I need, you know, UR or UL or CE, 
um, taking care of for you. This is, you know, the Wearcom, the thing that they do really well is make sure that it's, uh, you get really clean power. You're not going to have to worry about EMI from this. So if you're trying to get a product to market, especially, um, this can really speed it up because the power supply is, you know, can be a, a big source of noise. Um, having something that's fully enclosed uh, like this that gives you uh, clean power um, is a beautiful thing. Um, each module is rated for five watts, but you can get different voltages. Um, in this case, you can see uh, I have it hooked up to my electronic load. Uh, even though this is rated for one amp at five volts, I could pull 1.8 amps just fine. Now, it's rated for one amp, but I'm saying if you're going to go a little bit higher, you know, when you transmit Wi-Fi from your, uh, you know, single board computer connected to this or whatnot, um, you know, you, you don't have to worry about that. One nice thing that I didn't notice is that, you know, as I cranked this up to two amps or so, that's kind of when it cut out. Um, it didn't just droop, it actually just completely cut power, which I really liked. It didn't, it didn't give me this nonsense like 3.2 volts or two and a half volts. It just, it was either a pure five clean or nothing, which is uh, also really sweet. Um, like I mentioned, this comes in multiple different uh, voltage outputs, uh, you know, preset and uh, fully regulated from 3.3 up to about 15. Each one is five watts, so you just do the math, you know, you can get much more current at 3.3 volts than the 15. What's nice is you don't have to have a separate regulator, right? The, the regulator uh, is built in, so this can go straight into your um, board and without worry about like, oh, am I going to get over voltages or under voltages or, you know, too much noise or negative polarity. So it's, it's very elegant. Another nice thing I like, and I'll, um, maybe I'll show this on the overhead uh, real fast, um, is uh, you get fully uh, isolated output. So another nice thing is this is earth grounded and DC wall adapters, of course, are not. They're two pronged, at least in the US. Um, whereas this, you get an earth ground in addition to the um, you know, hot and neutral. And um, on the opposite side, you get an earth ground tab. So that you can see this is completely um, you know, metal tied earth ground. And you get isolated, um, here it's labeled, you get isolated, negative and positive, and it is completely isolated. Like I, I put this on, connected my oscilloscope to it, and it's like, no, you're floating. This negative is not connected to um, Earth at all. So that could be really useful. Again, you know, wall adapters, I, most of them I think might be isolated, but it's not guaranteed. Um, they, they might not be. So um, all of these things make it, I think, for somebody developing a product, if you want to put it in an enclosure, you want to just like not have to worry about people messing things up um you can't mess it up this is standard right this is a standard power adapter cable connector there's no you know there's no way somebody's <laughs> going to put something in this that will get you a voltage other than the voltage that you're asking for so um very reliable very durable the whole thing is like metal enclosed i was going to open this up and then i kind of realized like i actually kind of couldn't <laughs> like it's yeah. really sealed I, like, I was hoping like oh maybe i could unscrew it but no it's yeah. actually like a full bent it's like a it's a pressed med pressed metal sheet i mean like maybe if i had like a really powerful saw i could cut here but um yeah you can't really open this this is this is pretty much a, a permanent module um so quite nice i think the body also acts as a heat sink for the uh the internal converter so that these the um rac 0505 sk slash c14 yeah available on digi digi has tons of them in stock again if you need other voltages check those out uh but uh i really like it i think if i ever have to you know i sometimes i have to make um really nice um testers and i need to have some panel mount um you know iec connector and i kind of like didn't want to have to deal with wiring a panel mount iec jack to a power supply because then you have like these high voltage wires hanging out um, I'll just kind of use one of these, right? Like super easy, super safe. Yeah, it looks like as long as your product is bigger than this, that would be like, that's it's the cut. Compact. That's the thing. It's like, this is really small. And, you know, I think if you can do this instead of a wall wire. Area. It does one thing and it does it really well. So I think yeah. this is really cute. It's a, it's a really brilliant idea. Good job from Raycom. All right. And that's all on MPI for this week. Hi on MPI.